Because in today's time, one person cannot do anything. You know, we have to gather together. So we see Jupiter, Jupiter in Aquarius. It is neutral there. It's neither strong nor weak. This is not this is neutral position in classical astrology. But based on astrology, we know that the principles of Jupiter are directly opposite to the principles of Aquarius. <coughs> Jupiter is the power of God, the teacher, the guru, and the highest knowledge. There is some elite, some, some, some elitist in Jupiter, while Aquarius is a sign of mass, ordinary people, equality of all, and brotherhood. We see one interesting thing now in the world happening, that the governments in the most of the countries of the world are some so-called elite. And now, more than ever before, it is clear that they are separated from people. Like ordinary people are nothing. And there is more elite that is everything. Governments that rule certain states, actually globalistic states, are ruling people, yeah? And there is somebody above them. And this invisible somebody who is above them gave them rights to insult the people to insult the common sense of the people and to destroy them in a humiliating way. How they these rights are given to them? By blackmailing them, corruption and promises. So government got some promises. That's why they feel strong by doing this to ordinary people. This is of course ridiculous. However, there will going to be a change because Jupiter here, regardless of its divine nature, opens the story of stealing fire from the gods and thus reviving in us the arch archetype of rebellion against restrictions and against the so-called elite. And with this opens the story of Prometheus. We have this archetype again here. However, we can understand this as a period in which God helps the fire to be stolen. So people are given to know a lot of what was previously hidden from them or what was belonging to some sort of elite. Modern science that, that does not only work against man, it can work for him as well. And we need to know about that. You know, we don't have to be afraid of that and we need to learn about that. But let's see first what Prometheus means. Prometheus appears in the history of mankind as a revolutionary, also as a communist. He also had other functions, for example, some consider him a symbol of technical civilization. The myth of Prometheus was very dominant in the first decades of the 20th century, <clears throat> when the first Russian revolution took place. Then communism spread. Then the Great Depression took place in Germany. And then, of course, started the Second World War and all of the horrors later on. <clears throat> there are countless parallels between the 20th and 30s of the last century and this our present time. And I want to say a few things about that. So since I dealt with the period of the 20s and 30s of the last century, but through the art and literature, I'm preparing to publish few articles about some phenomena of that period. So many will be able to see what is happening now is not new. It was actually happening in the past. It that is something that has already been seen. Now you will ask if I have this, I will have this article in English. Well, actually I wrote them in English, you know, so they're originally written in English and I will uh, you will see they will be posted somehow on my on the website Symbolic Thinking in this v uh, English version of the site. On, if, if in paper, then I will sell it and you can buy it and so on. Uh, <clears throat> so this is evidenced by works of this Prometheanism of Russian philosophers 
clergy and artists, especially those who left Russia after the revolution. For example, Berger, one of the most famous philosophers from the 20s and 30s of the last century, who lived abroad, he wrote in his books that this is the apocalypse time, that this is the end of the time, that this is the end of the world, it was the worst time of all, or it was not actually everywhere, it was especially in that time in Russia, or let's say in the east of the world. Um, and today, many say the same. They say that this is the end of the world, and they recognize symbols from the biblical apocalypse. However, one should know that this already had happened, and it happened in certain periods in the history. Just now, there is some sort of things that happened in the 20s in the last century. They happened on the East and now they are moving to the West. And the thing is that now world is globalized. So actually, Western civilization influenced the whole world in the second part, at least, of the 20th century. So now that something that belongs to the Western civilization, other parts of the world also feel, even if it is not theirs, you know. And, but it actually belongs to the Western civilization because everything flows from the East to the West and everybody must, but everybody must have its portion of that something that is developing as the phenomenon. So in the famous book, the name of the book is Icon and the X, the author is Billington. He says that Russian Prometheanism from the beginning of the last century uh, carries some religious darkness, while Western contains utilitarian scientism, like from science, scientism, or even religious imagination in a secular form. Pay attention to this. So what is happening now? I would not say about Russia now that what Billington wrote, that there is that dark religious or something, but it seems that it's true about the West, that they have, the description is correct now, as it was at the beginning of the previous century. Many will agree that that's what we are experiencing today through the Western civilization is utilitarian scientism. We can call it, of course, technocracy or transhumanity. And we also see that new religion is imposing itself and that this religion has nothing to do with God. So that is some sort of a secular non-spiritual religion that is taking place. We can even say again, because some sort of that, some sort of that non-secular religion, non-spiritual religion was actually also communism in certain period of its existence. So the new religion is now what? The new religion is very tightly connected with facts. How is that possible, one will ask? Well, it is possible in this way. First, one, somebody can bring humanity into a state of trance or hypnosis, which is actually happening. Then it is offered that what's what's by means that will save the world or the humanity and which will always later be the solution for everything. So there is no end of this vakts vakts, you know, no end. This is part of the religion. You believe or one believe this is that that will save me and I always take it and I always and I believe in it. That salvation is actually a biological weapon. It is one of the weapons that of that kind uh, which will actually make a man to depend on technology. So he, men would should, uh, should further depend on technology. And it is possible to create that, that he cannot be without that because he is getting this. I remind you, we are now in the war that is not fought by traditional means. We talk about that a lot in last year also. 
it is definitely that somebody is creating a new world order. Maybe it has to come, really. But the question is, who will establish it? The weapons that are used now are not only chemical, but are also combined with new antennas and satellites. So there is that Promethean scientism that should, be, should replace, actually, according to their version, natural life. So some sort of science fiction is emerging here, which can be normal for the future, according to their project. And of course, it's completely against this biological life. So many would still wonder, who would do that? Why is this person, Tanya, saying that, you know? Why would somebody do it, you know? Well, who would do that, you know? We can call them creators of the projects of fascism, creators of the project of Bolshevism, colonizers, and now they call them bandits from Davos, or this man placed in Switzerland is maybe in English Davis, I don't know what his name, Davos. So this is their last name. They are always the same. They always work in the same way why people want to believe that people are okay, we are fine, nothing, nothing is happening, you know. So the people live in a totally irrational sta state and in the state of ignorance. I'm not saying everybody, but many, many people, you know. Thanks to the events of the 2020, people are waking up, you know, but uh, before that was, it was critical. So please note that at the beginning of the last century, Russia reacted to its apocalypse with philosophy and avant-garde art, while the West now is experiencing its apocalypse without art, and there is no really true philosophy. Philosophy can be maybe this transhumanism. But also we see this cruel scientism, technocracy, and we also see something important, this total media terror that helps to create that secular religion. And something is always true, you know, that everything that is spiritual in its journey from the East to the West becomes roughly materialized. So everything that is on the West must be very, very much materialized. Now look at this, you know, for example, transhumanism. They are not talking about that <coughs> to develop uh, people per uh, spiritually. <coughs> they want to put robotic hands, robotic head, you know, robotic fingers, you know, instead of working on this potential that people have. No, you change it, you know, like robot, you make it material. These are things like Mina. So look at the further parallel from the last period of the 20th century. For example, for the second period of the 20th century, after the Second World War, for example, how Chinese were brainwashing in the time of Mao Zedong. Well, for example, someone woke them up in the middle of the night and everyone started shouting and waving red books, going outside and reading aloud the Manifesto of Communism and shouting Mao's name. So media and governments of the globalist countries of the world are doing exactly the same thing now, and it is even worse in one segment. I will tell you in which. But what is the key of indoctrination and brainwashing? The key thing is, first, the induction of the idea, and then repetition, repetition, repetition. So now, what is worse now in today's time? Well, actually, nobody needs to wake up people in the middle of the night and tell them, shout and do this propaganda. People are doing them themselves. You know, they're watching their cell phones and news and medias, and they're indoctrinating themselves freely, you know. They, like, want to do that, you know. They don't understand that they should stop doing this, watching medias. And what every globalist uh, government does, they only control the process. So now, here we are with Jupiter, a planet that is a symbol of true knowledge, uh, not information, but a true knowledge. This is the knowledge of the law of karma and dharma, universal law, divine laws that appear always in everything and are present in every segment of human life. This is what Jupiter teaches. Real knowledge comes from the realm of spirit not from the matter, 
matter is spiritualized while um, spirit is not materialized. Jupiter in Aquarius is a scientist. So everything he does here, he does through analysis. He is not here very intuitive, even though if intuition is the highest quality of Jupiter. But here he has the power of anticipation, which means that he predicts the future and he analyzes the future and has vision because he thinks so fast that it looks like intuition. So this is the time when modern technology and numerous scientific discoveries that are mostly hidden from the masses can be used also for the good of the masses. And we need to know that, you know, and we need to learn about that, you know. And contrary, of course, they can use them against us. There are lasers using them now already from the satellite, and they shoot people. Everyone who talks against them, they shoot them with the laser. People are getting heart attacks. Uh, knowledge is the key here. So, if somebody does not understand that this project that we are living now is invented by psychopaths even and awful people, then, then people who don't know that can voluntarily choose to be in the prison of their consciousness, in the darkness of illness, and uh, they will have addiction in that robotic state that will be produced by Vaxvax. Uh, please note that those facts are not covered by any insurance and there, is, there are no any guarantees given by the companies that produce them. People have to sign, I want this and I take it. it means I believe in this, you know, in your religion simply. Great evil is happening to us, but from the standpoint of spiritual science, Evil is there to change us and teach us something about ourselves and the collective. So we have very good opportunities to study.